It's tight. It's a tight game. Very tight game, but should be first. But oh, it's got an early goal. Lucky very on. It's fifth minute, wasn't it? Fifth minute. Uh, I think it was a bit. I think it'll be a bit after. Well, 50, 50 minutes, sorry, 50 minutes. But I honestly thought Spurs chances. We, yeah, they had the, um, the double chance right at the end of the first half. Two brilliant saves from Lennon. Yeah, Lennon, yeah, yeah. Fair play to him, fair play to him. But should be Spurs 4 1, 3 1, yeah. at least. What did you make of the two penalties shouts? Um, do you think both of them were correct? The Spurs one was definitely. You, you, would, you, would, you would say that? I'll, I'll be, I was sitting directly behind the eye line of the. Um, the decision, so I can see it was. But uh, you don't know the, the Arsenal one. You think that was a penalty? Of course not. <laughs> Just <laughs> fucking <laughs> Arsenal. Because <laughs> Arsenal. But, Tottenham TV or Guna TV? Uh, we're a neutral channel. Neat sports. Neutral, they say. Well, then we're fighting on a neutral basis. <laughs> <laughs> one point oh, today. Yeah. Um, is that acceptable? In the fact that you know, Man United, Chelsea, Arsenal, obviously, are closing in yes. in the fight for top four. Yes. A few weeks ago, yes. Spurs yes. were. To, you think yeah, it's fair. Yeah, it's fair. We've been through a tough period recently, and these are big games going through. We get we went through Chelsea, we've got Arsenal, we've got Liverpool and City. They're tough games. That's a brave face. That's a brave face. You I'm being brave there. too, but at the same time, let's be fair. The last couple of weeks, or well, I say weeks, what ten days? Yeah. We've had a wobble, big wobble, and I don't know why. No one knows why. I'm not saying there's any unrest in the camp. I'm not saying it's the fact that Harry Kane's come back in the cap and then Sun don't know kind of what the role that he was. All of this stuff, you don't know what is what. All I know is that camp is absolutely tight. They are tight. We're tight as a collective. This doesn't mean that we're just going to roll over and die now. I know, and I don't mean you as the media, but the mainstream, the mainstream couldn't wait. Oh, they you love know, it. They love know, it. Bottle, bottle, Charles, bottle, this, bottle. This this. TV, you know what? They didn't even acknowledge us <laughs> for. Uh, we've been there all thereabouts <laughs> all all year. I won't say the F word, but we 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 weren't even on their radar. Yeah. And, and, and this is where I can't defend though. Before Bernie though. It's the first time that we were acknowledged that we might, just might, do something. And that's what pees me off, is because at that point, you've got an opportunity then to rise against it. I don't know. I've got a theory. Obviously, Harry Kane's come back. And for me, you, you, can't, you can't not play Harry Kane. Of course, he's the, he's best, the best, your, your best striker. Probably the second best, I'll say, striker in the Premier League behind Aguero, personally, I think. No, personally, but okay, but but yeah, neither yeah, here nor there. Okay, but okay, subjective, okay, okay. of course it is. We'll but down. what I think is, when Harry Kane's gone, every player has to raise their game. Harry Kane's back. Maybe they now leave some responsibility to him. The whole everyone's performance look, drops look, a bit. Look at Son now. Look at Son now. He was the man before before yeah. Kane came back. But you know what and it feels it's like psychology. I don't, I don't think they actually go out there. I don't think they go out. They go, you know, Harry's back. They don't. But what it is, it's just that kind of well, it's thing. Like, like we're in the final third. Give it to Harry Kane because he'll score. Yeah. Whereas maybe the games before, okay, I need to take on the man because Harry Kane's not there. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Listen, listen. I, I tell you what. I tell you what. And this is the way that I always see it. This team, this club, are on the cusp of great things. But until until we've got one or two that have been there, done that, to mix in with this absolute explosion of talent and potential, we might not reach those heights that we all crave desperately. The club needs to be sold. It, the club's primed to be sold. New stadium, new training grounds. Finance-wise, it so sounds. Someone mentioned uh, Gareth Bell. Would you take him back? He's done it. He's been there. Of course not. You wouldn't. Injury prone, thirty-year-olds. He's massively injury prone. To be yes. Although fan the lift, favorite, the lift. You remember the, imagine the lift. Yeah, you know, of course. Right? But <laughs> and that is definitely the best ever this Champions club, League final. This club is so prime for being sold. The training grounds, the uh, the yeah, actual right. ground itself, the team. It's true. All you got to do. It sounds awful, but man, I'm an average, guy, average salary. But these guys. Who are like multi billionaires would say, okay, one billion quid of their money will make Tottenham a massive team. Yeah. Another way of looking at it. What they've got to do is do 500 million to a team. Yeah. They've got the stadium, no, no investment in the infrastructure, no stadium, no training grounds, none of this. Big fan base in London. Yeah. They'll be all right. Another way of looking at it. They're primed, they're primed. Is Pochettino has, has been brought in by Levy, who's got a history, a bit like Chelsea chairman, of just chopping and changing. But he's found someone that is A, honourable, credible, all that. There is a but. And the but is, 
we've overachieved because Levy and Lewis have not got the ambition. Well, well, not even the ambition, but they haven't got the financial clout. I, no, I'm not saying because he's a billionaire. I'm not saying that. But in terms of their business model, we're never supposed to be where we are as much as we're on the cusp right now. It's, it's, it's never... That Poch is overachieved by five years over. My man, my yeah, man. Is. Final question. Uh, obviously, as I said, it's one point today. You have lost the previous two games. You're in a top four race, I would say personally. I don't know if you agree or not. But are you confident that you will finish within the top four and get a champion? Fourth, fourth, fourth. No, I'm with you. I, I, I listen, I'm, I'm confident. You, you can't not be confident. I think, I, I, think, I think the response in the second half today was good. It was good. You know, you're like, so we are there or thereabouts. The only thing that I'm slightly worried about is the fact that you're one week away from being title contenders, the second week you're, are you going to cling on to top four? And that's, I think we, there was a bit of that with all of us that are walking out of here, we all know. And the thing is, and I don't mind saying this on record because it ain't being unpatriotic to Spurs, but until that day that we meet that holy grail, until we get that, then we're always going to have that nerve. We'll always have that thing in your belly that you can't put your finger on. But when we do it, it will be an absolute marvel.